Mario okay. Perfect race. We are back again uh, at the final road individual long distance, uh, the 10K points race. And today we have a premium commenter. It's Joey Mantia. Joey, how is it? Uh, it's wet, and I'm glad I'm not in there. Okay, can you explain why you are not in there? Um, you know, just after last night, I decided I didn't want to skate any more races on the road if it's wet. And uh, it's one, it's a little bit dangerous, but two, I just don't feel like it's the best competition. Uh, you know, it kind of takes away my strengths and it allows other skaters to be uh, to be more more aggressive and, and more dominant. Um, not taking anything away from the winners of last night or anything, but just for me, it's, it's I don't really you know think it's my sport to be racing in the rain. Okay, um, is it in wet in general or is it especially this track? This track is is obnoxious as it is, even when it's dry. Um, you know, but when it's wet, it's just that much worse. It's dangerous and. Uh, it's, we're going to see some crazy stuff in this race, I think. We've been seeing a lot of uh, pushing and everything, a lot of dirty play actually on this road, especially. Uh, you think it's because of how it's cut, how uh, the turns are and everything? I think so. I think it takes away the actual uh, the strengths of the, of the true road skaters that allow them to really power and, and put down that, you know, get that speed that, that makes them uh, predominant uh, or dominant on the road. Okay, so here we go to the first point at Bart Swing with behind him uh, Looking Felix strong. Rinen and uh, Justin Stelly, your teammate. He's good in the rain, right? He was very good last night. He was very comfortable behind me and, uh, you know, it just came down to the last little bit and uh, he ended up getting six, which is incredible. Um, you know, but Bart was strong last night. He had enough uh, cojones to go to the front with two to go and just no getting around him. So probably Bart is our big favorite again, right? I would assume so. He, he's probably about 60 pounds soaking wet and he can get through these corners better than anybody, it looks like. Yeah, he seems to be getting away even in the turns. Going to the second time points, again Bart swings just in front of, well, I think it was Justin Steady this time we got some points. Could be. Um, we are seeing a very small field actually, it's a final of only 26 skaters. You think this has something to do with the track as well, that they decided to really cut it down to only a few skaters because yesterday we saw it was too dangerous. It could be, I, you know, I really don't know. Uh what they were thinking when they made this course. It's got more right-hand turns than I've ever seen. Okay, uh, well, I read in the newspaper, actually, that uh, Fierce was very happy about it because they said it's almost like kart racing and it makes racing much more spectacular. Uh, spectacular, maybe if it's dry, but in the wet, it's just, it takes, you know, like I said, it takes away that excitement of people being able to go on attacks and, and break away, and it's really, um, I don't know, I, I don't prefer racing or watching races on, on, on wet right, surfaces like this. Right, yeah, just before this race we actually saw the junior men race, where we saw a good example of what the wet does with Mario Diego Valencia, was it sure gold? Oh. Yeah, what's happening there? Diego Rosero trying to move up and, uh, you know, just unable to get by. There's just really, there's nowhere to go. If, you, if you're in the front you control this race, there's really nowhere to pass because you can't okay. make the acceleration, you can't really do anything. So Bart is making, basically getting all the points. Yes, so, right now. So I was saying it was Mario Valencia was in a sure win actually and in one turn he just got a small push and he just slipped out of the turn and that was it for his victory. Right. So that's... It's that's just, really uh, he, skated, he skated a perfect race, he couldn't have done, couldn't have done anything better. Um, you know, he just, it sometimes it happens that way. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah. So we still see uh, Bart Swings, it's incredible, he got all the points so far. We have five laps done and Bart Swings must have like 10 points, I guess. Yeah, probably. And it seems like nobody even can come close. It's you and Fernandez, the French guy is also very good in the rain. Yes. He's now moving up. There's just nowhere to pass. He's, he's controlling it, he's keeping it at a nice speed and uh, really that's all you have to do on this track. If you have the legs to stay in the front and you're good in the rain, I mean, <laughs> textbook for him. You know, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. Exactly, and we see even Diego Rosero who is sprinting like crazy to get onto the front, but he just can't make it. So right. we have a group of five skaters actually getting away now. This will only make it easier on Bart, right? Absolutely. Okay, here we go up to the points again, and once again after six laps, Bart will get the points, or maybe this time he... Yeah, uh, he got the first place points. He still got it. But now you and Fernandez is moving up. Um, Finally, he's moving back a little bit. Maybe he'll rest a couple and try to go to the front again. But if they're smart, they won't let him back in the front. They'll do exactly what he did to them. But okay, we'll see so what happens. Fabio Francolini right now, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Fabio Francolini who gets the lead. Uh, and Fernandez is still in there. Looks like Diego's uh, kind of trying to catch back up, struggling a little bit with the course. He just looks really uncomfortable through the turns. Yeah. Okay, who's getting the points? It's Fabio Francolini. Francolini takes and two. He, yeah, exactly. He will be doing right now the same as... Oh yeah, Diego Rosero seems to be in difficulty. Right. I think the third guy is actually Jorge Bolaños from Ecuador. Yeah. 
Oh, well, he's doing good in the rain. Swings on 12, you on three. Looks like Swings is up <laughs> right now at 12 points. Closest is Ewan with three, Felix with two. And Fabio has two now as Fabio well. Fabio two, yeah. So it looks like Fabio will be trying to gather some points now. He's looking for that medal. He got disqualified one time. Got a lot of problems at three at this world, but this is his second time, so he moves on to second position. Right. Bart looks really comfortable. He's gonna sit down. He'll probably sit the next two points out and then probably go back to the front and, and control it like he did. Take probably two or three more sets and uh, and win comfortably. I think he's gonna yeah he's gonna complete the race with <laughs> at least a ten point lead uh, in front of everybody else. Okay. So uh, maybe we can get back a little bit to the track racing. You won uh, both the 500 and the 1000. That was very yeah. satisfying, I guess. Uh, yeah, I got here and I, you know, I, I got a brand new skate about a week before I got here. Uh, I cracked the mounts on my other on my boots doing starts and stuff. Um, Probably so, you'll get the again the points. Yeah. So, so you know, I got here. I was really uncomfortable during practices, and I was thinking to myself, I wasn't even going to get a medal, you know, let alone a gold medal. And uh, you know, the first day with the points, I couldn't even barely keep up, and then. Uh, you know, I went home and I changed my skates all around, basically basically started fresh, took my frames off my boots and started brand new, tried not to think about it, just put my frames where I thought they should be and skated the next day. Uh, was able to get second in the 300 yeah, and, and then, uh, you know, I won the 500 and uh, everything was kind of looking up from there and uh, it's, it's starting to work out for me. I'm starting to feel better on my skates. Okay, uh, so yeah. now Bart gets one point, Pearl Bologna has two points. Um, I guess still though, the only contender really is Fabio, but he got past now, so it will really be a comfortable win for Bart. It looks I think like. so, yeah, he's going to sit and take another one point probably after this, and then probably go back to the front and start collecting twos again. It looks like Diego's back off the back, just, he can't handle this, this course, it's just tough for people who aren't light and technical and uh yeah you know, they can win yeah <laughs> you can tell the, the guys that are handling it well and the guys that aren't right exactly here we go it's bolaños in front of swings and francolini they're gone with three right. uh, maybe we can look back also a little bit and maybe look forward even uh there seems to be like a strong sprinting duel between you and andres muñoz oh man he's amazing this year he's uh you know he's been dominant all year he's been winning all the races and and uh he's just been having a good showing all season long and I knew coming here he was going to be really hard to beat. Um, really I had to use more brains than Braun to beat him in the 500 and the 1000. Um, right. You know I just had to really commit to being in the front and and, 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 uh, and uh, you know grow a pair. <laughs> and yeah. and uh, he, I don't know his speed might be a little faster than mine right now. He's, just, he's skating very well. Okay yeah so uh, we saw him win the 200 meters so now we get the 500 meters in the relay race coming up. Let's hope tomorrow it, it's all right so we have a really an even race and then it will be interesting what do you think i will hope so right now it's uh, munoz up three golds i have two golds uh, he's got a world record i have a world record you know it's it's a good little race we got going on and i'm i'm excited to be here uh, and be a part of it yeah uh, okay we got three guys gone and actually jorge bolaños is gathering a lot of points so this might even cost uh, fabio francolini his second position okay he's trying to move up now uh, yeah, it looks like Fabio got the points just in front of Jorge Bolaños. Yes, and Bart's just taking the lead, just yeah. collecting the twos, and uh, really hands down, he's just the strongest in the race, just uh, with the conditions being as they are. Um, yeah, the difference is really big. Oh, yeah, it's, it's obvious. Nobody can even really contend with him, you know? Yeah. Um, what do you think about doing worlds here with the weather that we have here? We've been seeing rain showers every day. Uh, it makes it more difficult, right? I think it's pretty, uh, pretty terrible. Honestly, I already stated my decision or my my opinion in my decision not to skate. Um, you know, uh, it's really, it's really uh, unfortunate that they don't go to the rain day and at least try to, you know, push the races back a little bit and give the skaters that are actually getting on the road a chance to skate. But and like I said, it's a safe for everybody, and, and you know, it's, sometimes things work out in your favor, sometimes they don't. And you know, tonight things are working out in Bart's favor quite well. Oh yeah, you can say that again. Yeah. Um, yesterday you were actually sprinting with Bart, and you looked pretty close. But then in like the almost the last turn, you slipped a little bit. Was that what happened? Yeah, I just uh, I went in with too much speed, and uh, I caught one slip, then my other foot slipped, and I thought I was heading straight at the wall. I basically just stopped, lost all my speed, and Diego came flying by me, and. Uh, you know, I, I just I came around very frustrated, and it's, it was just annoying for me. You know, the elimination's my race. I, I won it five years in a row, leading up yeah. to these championships, and it's unfortunate that uh, the weather didn't permit. Uh, you know, it didn't work victory. out. Didn't work out in my favor, but you know, at the same time, it's it's it is what it is. Okay. Uh, here we got a second or third group. Even we've seen. Well, it's really a battlefield here. We have 
like a first group who is getting back together, like the first ten skaters, then a small group, then a, a way back another group. Nobody and can even challenge Bart. He's just owning every right, point. Right. So it looks like it will be easily Bart, and then it will also probably be Fabio Bart. Francolini, and the third is looking like it'll be Jorge Bolaños. Bart, Bart right now with 24, and it looks like Fabio Francolini with nine. Oh, yeah. 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 And then third position we have Jorge Bolaños, yeah, from Ecuador, who's actually surprisingly good here. Yeah, very, uh, very strong. Okay, here they come again, and again it's Bart. And I guess, yeah, well, Fabio there tried for one second, but he seems to, seems to be hurting already. We have Scott Arlitz, Chris Pine, Arians, the other yeah. Belgian guy, but they're just not even coming close. They didn't get any points. You know, what it comes down to is Bart has the legs, he's in great shape, and he's just not afraid to be in the front, and that's what it takes in this track right now. Nobody can get around on the last straightaway. He's doing a nice build-up. Oh, look at that. There comes the second Belgian. It's Ferris Fer Brut who is in the search of a medal. Right, it's Fabio Francolini not letting him in. Okay, here they come again. At this and point, it's like nobody else can get points. They're just two skaters, and it's Bart comfortably winning, and yeah. Fabio seems happy with silver. And that's at this, it. at this point, the rest of the skaters are running the towel, and they they're not even challenging Bart for his uh, two points anymore. And uh, you know, it's it's going to be a comfortable win for him. But what a big difference with the track points race where we had everybody fighting for it. In the end there were only six skaters, but it was really an incredible battle between many skaters who could get a medal. And this time we actually see that only two skaters basically fight for the Well, three skaters fight for the medals. Right. Maybe the third position is still open if some skater can get away right now. And they might be able to get some points. Right. Like Jung Fernandez, for example, the fresh guy. Yeah, in fact, there he is. Fabio Frangolini won the first point. Um, Jun Fernandez takes the lead, so he will be going in search of bronze, I guess. Looks that way. Okay, here we have Diego Rosero in the second group with Peter Michael, both on the podium of the points race of the track. They don't seem too happy in the rain right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's unfortunate. Diego, was, uh, Diego skated the strongest points race I've ever seen in any world championship. He was just that completely dominant, and uh, he controlled the race. He, 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 uh, even in the limb, he led. I would say over three quarters of the race for Fuentes for the win. Yeah, on the and, dry uh, on the track, it seemed like his legs could never go tired. Right, and here it's just it's unfortunate. You know, it's uh, he's not handling the wet very well, and uh, it's just it's kind of a shame to see such talent being uh, you know preserved, or you know not being able to be shown because uh, because of the conditions. Yeah, exactly. Well, we have the five skaters that are in the front actually also scored artists, I believe, is in there. But it's all skaters that actually always skate in Europe and are very used to the rain, right? Right, That's it looks that way, you know. It's, uh... Okay, who's getting the points? Fabio Francolini really seriously seems to be gathering some points right now. Scott Arledge in third now, maybe in search of a medal, if he can get on a breakaway and get these last points on the three last laps. Actually, if he's able to get six points right now, so it's three laps, so if he gets it, then he'll still have a medal. Looks that way. It looks like Fabio is not going to let that happen. Uh, he's going to do everything he can not to let that happen. We'll see how right, it plays but, out. But Fabio, I guess, is actually pretty sure of his second position. So is he maybe looking to for, still for gold, or is that impossible? I think that's impossible at this point. Okay. So yeah, it looks like, looks like Bart swings at 29, Fabio Frangolini at 16. Okay, so Scott cannot even challenge him. And now well, the we actually have the bronze. Dutch guy, Chris Pine Arians, who is fighting with Scott Arridge also to get maybe bronze. Right. Um, how many points does Jorge Bolaños have? Jorge Bolaños? Six points. So Jorge Bolaños has six points. Right. At this point, if Scott continues to gather points and he is in front of Jorge uh, at the final sprint, then he'll actually get the bronze. Looks that way. So I think you're going to see uh, Bart Swings come through for the victory, try to take his victory lap in the yeah. front, I think yeah. so. Okay, now the Dutch guy is actually trying to ruin Scott's parade here, and he does it. So Scott really needs to go now because Chris Pinarians actually is, will be happy with the fourth or fifth position. And he needs, Scott needs three points. Looks that and way. he's tired, but the Dutch guy is gone. He's got one point, so he might be able to get two points now. And then Looks like Scott's starting to dig a little deeper fourth. here. Okay, yeah. okay, Scott is coming up to the Dutch guy again, but Bart swings is very close, so actually we're looking at Scott Arledge, who should hope that Bart swings one pass him, basically. There goes Scott. Oh yeah, Scott. there goes Scott onto a medal, yeah, Scott Arledge who's getting the bronze medal here. Looks that way, all he needs is one point now. Right. Looks like Bart swings to take the win, maybe Franklin goes by it with him, and then Scott Arledge takes the third. 
We'll see what happens. Okay. He's needing one more point. And there goes Barr just easily okay, passing it. should be really careful because if Fabio Francolini passes him and he's actually done, but they're teammates. So maybe even Fabio. But Fabio has had his problems with the New Zealand guys. So yes, he has. we'll see what happens here. Okay, Scott is going to sprint against Fabio. If Scott wins the sprint, then we have him on a medal. If he doesn't, we don't. Oh, who was that? Who was in front? We don't know. No teller. Okay, well, actually, the New Zealand guy seemed to think that it was Scott Arledge. So then it would be uh, Bart Swings winning comfortably, uh, Fabio Francolini second comfortably, and then probably third, Scott Arledge. Guys, do you think Scott Arledge won third? Okay, so it seems like Scott got third. It was a good day for the power side guys, but they had to say that uh, Bart was simply better. No contention, man, especially here, you know, just, you, can't, you can't race that kid on this track. Okay, thanks a lot, Joey, and right. good luck tomorrow. We hope to see uh, more of Joey Mantia, Super Mantia. Uh, next two of us, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot.